Biosystem 55 power filter by Dr. Forsters and Smith Oxy Surface Skimmer power filter. We're going to do a review today on this filter. So let's just scan over here to the actual filter. Yeah, there's already fish in the tank, but the filter has an extension tube that goes all the way to the ground, goes all the way up. There's the Oxy Skimmer which is just a piece of plastic that floats around. It's supposed to, but it wedged itself in place, it looks like. Not too impressed with the Oxy Skimmer. The filter itself, though, seems pretty decent. Let's zoom out a little bit here. You got your power flow control. It's made to come to a point so you know where it is. I have it set to high right now. Uh, you can turn that. Set it all the way down to medium or low, whatever that says up there. I need a flashlight. I keep it set on high. It's made to work up to a 55 gallon, and this is like a 40 gallon or 50 gallon bow front. I just got it. So, uh, threw a couple piranha in there. Top comes off like any other filter would. I've always bought AquaClear in the past and I figured I'd give something new a try because AquaClear power filters have a tendency for the cartridges to rise up when the foam filter gets clogged and what they'll do is they'll flood your house when you're out. You don't know that the filter raised up and it causes the flow to flow right over the sides of the filter. I've been told they fixed that. That was over 10 years ago since I've used them. So I don't know. I know that's always been a problem they had. So I decided to try something new, and I've always been happy with Dr. Foster's and Smith.com uh, website. I've bought a lot of live aquaria from them, live rock from my salt tanks, and I've always been very, very satisfied with their products and the way they handle themselves. Okay, this filter comes with uh, a foam cartridge in the front, and then in the back of it, it's got a carbon floss cartridge that's in a package. Uh, this clip opens up so you could replace the carbon. I don't know where you get the foams at. I bought replacement carbon cartridges. I got a box of them here. Bio 3 for, uh, as you can see, it's Dr. Foster's and Smith. Bio 3 filter cartridges. This comes with the carbon cartridge, but it doesn't come with the foam. Luckily, the foam cartridge is easily washed, so I don't see that needing to be replaced for years. Now this thing, the nice thing about it is it comes with the cartridge, then it comes with the cartridge. Oh, look at that one. That one's actually needs to be clipped back in place. Uh, now, the only thing I didn't do is rinse these cartridges first. I forgot, but luckily there was no carbon dust to come out. It comes with a cartridge, and it comes with a fourth cartridge, which means that you're running on four layers of biological protection. So what you want to do is you'll want to replace, we'll say, these two cartridges in the back first or the ones up front first if they get clogged first and you notice that the water's not coming out as steadily as it has been now uh, that's nice because you're able to maintain your biological filtration while changing out your carbon you're not losing all of that which is another nice thing about having the foam media this blue cartridge separate is that uh, your biological media the decaying food uh, the algae buildup, all the living stuff that you want that's naturally going to break down the ammonia in your tank and the, the, the gook that you don't want. It's called biological filtration. will be caught up in those medias. So you can replace one if you want to replace one every three months or every, usually every three months is a good time to replace your carbons. Uh, I'll probably replace two carbons every three months is what I'm guessing I'll do. Uh, obviously, I'll go by the tank. If the tank starts getting cloudy right away or giving me problems, I need to replace the carbon. Uh, some foods, like this food I have over here, this pellet food, uh, which I got a whole bunch of, has a tendency to cloud the water, so I've learned to only put two or three pellets in at a time. Uh, the Hakari food is a good food that most likely won't cloud your water. I've bought them before. But overall, I'd say I'm very satisfied with this filter. It does have for the Oxy Skimmer a little up and down, open and close valve. So uh, you can control the flow. You can see that little Oxy Skimmer bouncing around now that I move the control on the flow. If I pull it up, 
the oxy skimmer moves up and freezes in place. If I put it down, it starts bopping all around. Now I called up Dr. Foster's and Smith and so far nobody has been able to tell me which way is open and which way is closed. So I just leave it in the middle, <laughs> which is what we decided would be best, and uh, hope that it does something. I'm not too impressed with the Oxy Skimmer. Uh, I still recommend going out and buying like a C-Clone Protein Skimmer if you're worried about skimming. Uh, that worked nicely for me and I was very satisfied with it. Uh, power filter clips on the front. Oh. We unlodged a piece of floating food, and since they just ate the chicken over there, they don't seem to want that. Okay, this is about the power filter though. So overall, I'd rate uh, a good 85, 90% on this filter. Uh, very satisfied, it comes with everything you need. It comes with all the cartridges to start with, and to replace the cartridges is fairly cheap. Uh, it costs like $5 for four cartridges. Uh, but note, you got to pay shipping. I happen to buy $50 and above, so I just throw on the cartridges. But otherwise, it's going to cost you $10 for four cartridges, $250 a cartridge. So you're looking at uh, every six months, $10, we'll say, uh, in maintenance cost on this filter if you wanted to replace two cartridges every three months. So that way, the other two maintain your biological filtration. Okay, hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, please check out the rest and see how my fish and hamsters are doing. Thanks, bye.